Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirch with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And here's an important tip that I recommend for multi-month catch-up in the Baking Center. And I am still working with the Kathy's Bookkeeping Test file, which I will use for many of these examples from here going forward. And as you can see, I'm in the Banking Center and I have organized my bank and credit card accounts so that I am working from left to right and so I have also talked about this in previous videos so I will put the links to those previous videos in the comments below so you can refer to those but the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure that you work in the logical order as the standard workflow goes. And one of the things that I do highly recommend, and, and it will help you because if you're talking about, like in this instance, we have transactions going all the way back to the beginning of the year, because remember when I did the setup videos, I actually uploaded all those from the banking center starting with January 1st, 2021, and a few of them going back even earlier than that, that I added manually, which I've already dealt with all that. So basically we're looking at from the beginning of the year, and so my recommendation is that you work with each month at a time. So we're going to start with January 1st. Um, so when we do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the All Dates area. And we're going to click on that drop down, as you can see here. And when we click on that drop down, we're going to set our date range using the custom feature. And we're going to isolate those transactions from January 1st to January 31st of this year. And then we're going to click on apply. And when we do click on apply, then you will see what happens in the next screen. And so in the next screen, you can see that it isolates all those transactions in whichever register that we happen to be in to that monthly period that we set up in our custom field there which right now looks like there's only that one transaction that we need to deal with so that way we can go ahead and deal with that transaction and then when we move on over to the checking area as we're getting ready to do here we're going to do the same thing. In other words, we're going to go back up here to the all dates and then we're going to click on the drop down like we did in the earlier screen. And we're going to set the same parameters for the month of January using January 1st, 2021 to January 31st of 2021. And then we're going to click on apply. so that we can isolate all those transactions for January in the checking register and deal with those. And then we'll do the same thing with the savings. We'll isolate those dates from the month of January, from the beginning of the month to the end of the month to filter out those transactions for January as you see on the next screen. And then we can deal with those transactions from the month of January. And then once we've gotten January done, we can go back starting with the Visa card and work through the remaining months in the same manner. And what I noticed is that when I actually did this process is that you, it's a sticky setting. As long as you don't exit out of the screen or do anything wonky, it should keep the same filters on and you would just have to go back and run them again when you're ready to run the other months. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. And y'all have a good week and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks Desktop or Online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. 
I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.